What's up, everyone? This is Nate, and I am on, uh, as you can see, I'm not in my normal location. I am on vacation in California, and today I'm going to be bringing you another out of the theater review, my first one in a couple of weeks. I actually got to see Fast X in the TCL Chinese Theater, the famous Chinese theater where they've had all these premieres. I actually went with a couple of, uh, of YouTube people that I, uh, really old movies, Harrison, he joined me at the theater. I and mean, of course, Rob, uh, Robert, one of our patrons, he's always in the chat. So he was there as well. I got to meet up with a couple of people, see the movie, great experience, but I'm here to review the movie. So let me just give you my two cents. First of all, I am a big fan of the Fast and Furious movies in general. I don't love all of them. In general, I really love the franchise. I have fun with them. I have fun with the action scenes. I think they're very entertaining films. I don't think they are like Oscar caliber movies. I'm not some kind of crazy person who thinks that they're extremely well written and the dialogue is great. It's not. But I have a good time when I watch them. I love the action scenes. I love the characters. I do love the characters for the most part. Most of them. So I was looking forward to this one, even though nine I did not like. There's two that I really don't like and not uh, nine was is probably my least favorite. So even though that was kind of a bummer, I was going into this one with high hopes. And for the most part, they were met. Let's start with the negatives. So let me just get the negatives out the way. Number one, I do think, obviously, I'm not going to defend these movies. I'm not going to try and sit here and explain why it's, you know, why uh, I don't care that they're stupid or whatever. They're very stupid. They're all over the top. They're all over the top. I mean, what action movie isn't? Every action movie is over the top. These take it to another level at times. And this one does that. There was a few moments where I was like, okay. But they kept it to a minimum, especially compared to nine. So I think that was a plus. This one reminded me most of seven in that seven was that balance of like really cool, really well shot action. And then there was those moments like the streets always win and he steps on the parking garage and the whole thing falls down. It was a balance of cool and stupid. And I feel like this one was in that realm. I think it was less stupid than eight and nine, but still pretty stupid, but less. So I know I'm talking about negatives. The negative would be it's still kind of dumb. They didn't they didn't take it back to like earlier Fast and Furious before it got crazy over the top. Also, some of the new characters, I didn't care for Brie Larson's character. And it's not nothing to do with her. I just the characters not like a kind of a nothing role, like within the world. She exists, you know, to do what Kurt Russell's character did in the in uh, seven. And I think he was an eight as well. You know, he she kind of fills that spot. Just didn't do much for me. Also, John Cena, anytime I didn't like his character in nine and anytime he comes on screen, the whole movie for me, just like they could have cut all his scenes and I would have been happy. Honestly, I really just uh, some of the action scenes he gets to do are OK, but like as a character, I just don't like him. I don't care about him. His motivation doesn't make sense to me, like how he switched from one movie to the next one. Like I, everything just everything about him did not like. And lastly, you know, I think the middle of the movie kind of it, it slowed down. I thought the first act was great. Honestly, I really love the first act of the film. I thought the finale was solid, but the middle part. It felt like it was spinning its wheels at times, story-wise. I know that this is part of a... Well, it was supposed to be two movies, and now apparently it's three movies. And I know this is the first part of that, but it still felt like they could have trimmed a good 25 minutes from this movie, and it would have been way better. Because it just felt like it was spinning its wheels. But like, we're just... You know, all the gang is all separated and doing different stuff. Which a lot of movies do that, you know, spy movies and what's a Star Trek, uh, the latest Star Trek Beyond, I think it was. That one did it where they separate everybody and they're doing their own things. But it just felt like it was spinning its wheel. Now, on the plus side, I thought Louis, uh, Louis Leterrier, he directed this one. Great, great choice, in my opinion. He knows how to shoot action. I love some of the stuff he does with the camera in this movie. That thing is just whipping around and spinning and i mean it looks great i for me to me i thought the action scenes look great and jason momoa it must be said this guy he will either you will either love his performance or you will think it is the worst performance ever I, and i don't see an in between i really don't for me loved it he's over the top he knows what kind of movie he's in he knows and he is very eccentric very over the top 
but hilarious to me. I thought he was hilarious. I liked his motivation. I get why he's doing what he's doing. So that's always a plus. And yeah, he was very flamboyant, but great. I thought Jason Momoa was great. Also, I liked I liked our, all of our main character for the most part. I've never been a big fan of Roman, which is Tyrese's character. And luckily he's not in it too much. But Han is always cool. I did like I did like Dom in this. I tend to not care for him that much for whatever reason, but I, I liked him in this. And I thought the action scenes were great. I love the opening of the movie. I love the flashback, you know, non this is not a spoiler or anything, but I like the flashbacks to the previous movies that they do. And then I love the first action scene. It's in the trailer with the ball rolling. I thought it was great. I thought the finale was good, even though there's over the top moments. Yeah, but that's okay. Also, there's some surprises in this. So you get some return characters that I did not expect. You get a cool a mid credit scene that I did not expect. And overall, I had a good time with the movie. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I don't think it's amazing. I don't think it's great. But I think it's a step in the right direction that I'm now excited for the last two movies, I guess. Because this kind of washed out the taste of 9 for me. So let me know in the comments what you thought of Fast X. I could totally see people being like, this is still stupid and I hate it. And I think Fast and Furious fans might enjoy it. So let me know in the comments down below. Of course, if you can click that like button and leave me a comment. And also please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. So that way you get out of the theater reviews every week. Next week, I will be reviewing, I think The Little Mermaid comes out. So I will be reviewing The Little Mermaid uh, for anybody who's interested. Until next time, take it easy.